Okay, guys. In this um video, I'll be teaching you guys how I will touch. This image was actually shot by it on my phone. D seven one hundred and the fifteen minutes of pendants. This is actually one my light set of shoes. You see. So that's that. And let's get to the um. First thing first. Okay. Framing is okay. What we want to do is uh, create a repetitive separation of layers. Duplicate this layer into two. Come down here and uh, most times what I use is um, dust and scratches. Well, I can't tell the difference between dust and scratches, but what I notice is dust and when, when I'm using dust and scratches. So this kind of a look it gives to the detailing of the skin compared to that of a cash on So I think four is okay. Let's apply the image right to use another layer here. Blood layer we apply our person's scratches to. Okay, I'll cover this to give a light. Okay, let's break it. While well, looking at this, there is no difference between the because you could take layer the original layer. What I actually did was to separate the skin detail from the skin color. That's what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. You understand? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna duplicate this um, blood layer. And anything we'll do, we'll do it on this one so it will be a mistake. We don't have to go back creating the whole thing again because it's somehow stressful. The pictures, basically, the marks just hold on to it and like click in between them, change the blend mode to normal. That's that. So, from that, that uh, what I'll be using is mix up brush. So, the way I separate is I molly off my detail in there. So be careful not to drag from the shadow down to the highlights. So what you do is you mix them gradually. You just have to be patient. That is the key to achieving pigs and that you just have to be very, 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 very patient. Very, very patient. So I'm mixing, I'm going circular, you know, mixing it circularly, like I'm not stroking it because sometimes white stroking you can stroke from the highlights to shadows or from shadows to highlights and you don't want that to happen.
very, very careful. Some developers don't like, you know, touching the boost, but me, I don't know. I just like it. I like touching everything. I like it when everything looks you know, kind of the same. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. What we've been doing as before, as before, as before, okay. and that's good. Let's go to the body parts. I'm actually stroking because there's a lot of um, there's no much um, light and shadow cast like there's a lot of space for you to uh, stroke. But this part of the way it seems um, long, so just stroke it towards the direction of the light or the shadow. Please don't mind my sound. I'm actually recording it on the earpiece, the earpiece rather. My phone is pausing. Can't just stop now. I can't even can't really fix it now. I'm going to fix. We are all staying at home due to the pandemic. You know, stay home, stay safe, and keep on safe. So, guys, just. Video with me, I just have to do this tutorial because I've been getting lots and lots of your know, requests on how I will touch my images. You know, so, please, what you do while watching this video, just hit that um, subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I drop new videos. Sometimes I've not dropped any videos, so I will try to you know, try my best to drop. This is what we talk about. Uh, very, very busy. So that's that. So you can see there's a before, there's an after. Before, after, let me zoom in a little so you guys can see properly. Before, after, the image is crispy sharp. So what I have to do is I have to pick all these blemishes here for my skin. So I'll be doing that on this um, top of this layer with my clothes down too. So I'll sample, click, 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 click. 
so I guess you get the idea. There are actually different ways how I, you know, eat stuff from stream. Sometimes I happen to you know, make image crispy sharp, like making not like me sharpen up the image and then I pick. But in this image, I just want to make it quick. This is going to be a full version of the story, so this is just part one. Ah, I got your medium and portrait. This thing tends to be cool. Not too much to do. It's got a very nice thing. Nice thing to see. I have to zoom in very well so I can, you know. This is just to be. Okay, that's that. I won't be removing this part because it's actually I don't know, I don't know if I call it a dead mark or a scar or something. But sometimes some dead mark can actually be like this. Yeah, this lies lines under the eye. You think I'm removing them? That's that. My screen is actually dead. Okay. That's that. So, guys, this is how I separate. This is how I separate. In the next video, I'll uh, we'll be doing um the dodge ball, then the uh, color grading, and see what happens to the final image. So thank you guys. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon also so you get notified whenever I drop new content like this.